Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I want to show off another great new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2018 having to do specifically with simulation. That feature is the ability to import study aspects from part or sub-assembly studies into the parent assembly study and it's going to save you time by making you not have to define things twice. Before we get started, I want to note that this is for static studies only and can't be used if the study you want to import from is a 2D simplification study. Here I have a drive assembly that I'm working on for an RC car and I want to create a study to measure the stress from a torque load on the entire assembly. Luckily, before I start setting up that study, I know that I already have fixture load and material definition set up in the crankshaft. I'm going to open up that part in its own window so we can take a look at that. You can see down here that I have a shaft torque study already set up and you can see that material has been defined for this multi-body part as well as any component contacts, a fixture, and a torque load. Let's go back to the assembly and I'm going to start a new study. We'll go up here to the top. Now you see I have a checkbox right here in the property manager to import study features if you'd like. However, I'm going to hit OK through this so that you can see how to do this once the study's already started. Of course, when I start the study, nothing has been defined except for default component contacts. So to import those study features from that crankshaft, just right click on the study name, select import study features, and then you get a list here. This is all the parts and sub-assemblies inside this top level assembly and you can see everything's grayed out except for that crankshaft part. That shows me that the rest of them either don't have a study in them or they don't have a qualified static study. When I select that crankshaft part, you see I can pick what I want to import. All the features are selected of what I can import, so that includes mesh controls, external loads, fixtures, connectors, and body types and materials. We can deselect all and choose what we want to import. I'm just going to import all. And also there's a study selection pull down here. So if you had multiple studies in that part or some assembly, you can choose what you want to import from. Hit import. And you see that my fixture, torque load, and material definitions have all been defined in that top assembly study. In today's video, I went over importing simulation features from a part into an assembly in SOLIDWORKS 2018. I hope you start using this time-saving feature, and thanks so much for watching.